Yo, what's up, good folks? Willie Lee, HM, Word Overdose TV, your daily dose of words, of course. And I wanted to talk about um, vasectomies, pros and cons, right? So I'm a guy that had a vasectomy 10 years ago. Lo and behold, my youngest kid is 10, right? <laughs> so I look at it more so like, um, hmm. When you have a vasectomy, it needs to be like a decision that you make um, with your partner as well, right? Like, of course, it's your body, your body, your choice, right? But um, it also affects your partner. So say you um, in a relationship, preferably a marriage, right? And you feel like I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. It would probably be wise to converse with that person about the... Um, the, the, the setbacks or the shortbacks or the pros and cons like we discussed in today about a vasectomy. Like you might not want no more kids, but your partner might want some more kids, right? Your spouse. So that's something that y'all got to bring up. Yo, you might have to have a talk like, hey, it's better for you, young lady, to get your tubes tied, right? <laughs> like, hey, if you don't want no more kids, and I don't want no more kids, maybe you getting your tubes tied is the wise decision, right? But with that, even with that, for me, I look at it like um, as a man who has had um, poor dick discipline at times in life, right? Like, I could still get somebody else pregnant. Ugh. I'd rather um, have the autonomy that I can control if I have any more kids or not, or if I don't want any more kids or not, right? So, of course, your partner can get the tubes tied. But that doesn't stop you from still being able to make babies, bringing babies into the house. Mm, tough situation, right? So I look at it more so like, what are the pros and cons of having a vasectomy? So let me give you all a little history first. When I got ready to have a vasectomy, like, I had gave it a lot of thought, right? And I was like, man, I got a little daughter that I've been raising as a single dad, right? So then out the blue, I meet a young lady, I get my young lady pregnant, and I get a side chick pregnant, right? Same time. Crazy shit, right? So <laughs> once I got my um, lady pregnant, side chick pregnant, they both had the babies, and lo and behold, I get that I'm late text again from my lady. Ugh! Three boys back to back to back. And right now my boys are 10, 11, and 12, right? <laughs> so when I had them three boys back to back to back, I was scared to shake a hand of a lady without her getting pregnant at that point. I ain't want to hug nobody. I ain't want to rub against nobody the wrong way. I felt like some fluid going to leak out. I am way too fertile. I do not want any more kids. Kids are very expensive, by the way, right? And I always tell young men, especially, like, um, the most expensive substance on the planet by the ounce is sperm. Because if you deposit sperm in the wrong location, you can pay for it for, like, you can pay for sperm for 18 years. Uh, remember, like if you deposit sperm in the wrong location, you can pay for it for 18 years. And me, I'm in a position now with a vasectomy that all right, I can deposit sperm wherever I want. Ain't no babies coming. I'll never get that I'm late text. And if I do get that I'm late text, what do I already know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I look at it like a vasectomy is a good way to ensure that you don't have any more children if you are in a position where you do not want to have children. Now, I will say this. If you are a young man, say you are in your, you know, your teens, early 20s, you have no children, right? So you have no children. You say, you know what? I'm going to get a vasectomy as birth control. I say that would be foolhardy. Now, of course, it is a very good birth control, probably the best for birth control, right? But the problem with it is in your 20s, when you don't have children, you don't want to take any chances where you would not be able to have children in the future. So that's what we're going to the vasectomy reversal. So a lot of people feel like, you know what, if I get a vasectomy, I could just take a few years where well, I could be shooting these blanks, right? <laughs> and then after I shoot these blanks up, shoot the club up with these blanks, I can just go ahead and get a reversal. And now I'm shooting with live ammo again. And to this I say again, that is foolhardy. Because our vasectomy reversal is not 100% guaranteed, right? 
So they say the longer that you go um, with a vasectomy, the harder it is for it to be reversed. So if you go over five years, say five years, um, and then you get a reverse, you have like an 80% chance of still being able to procreate, right? Them swimmers to get back to swimming again. But say you go, um, say you go 10 years. So from five years, it was 80%. That six year, it goes to 70%. That um, seventh year, it goes to 60%. Eighth year, it goes down to 50%. You know what I'm saying? Like as you go, you, the more time you go with a vasectomy, the less likely you are to have children in the future. So I would encourage um, young 20-somethings, young teens that do not wish to be in a position where they have a children out of wedlock or children in a position where they can't provide to the highest level. They want to get themselves on point first. I say your best decision is to just put that latex on and wrap it up. <laughs> and do not, um, do not uh, put all your eggs in the basket of the pull-out method. The pull-out method, you're still getting seminal fluid inside the young lady. Like, I know women that got pregnant from the pre -cum. I know a young lady, <laughs> this is just what the young lady says. You know, always is some game involved in this. But the young lady told me that the dude couldn't get it in like it was... It was too tight, right? And it was, she was she was tensed up, so he couldn't go in. She still got pregnant from the pre-com. Mm, that boy has some fertile swimmers, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and another thing on that, um, every time a man ejaculates, like every time you bust that load, right, you letting out 300,000 to a million swimmers that are trying to get to a woman's egg. So that 300,000 to a million swimmers one of them is going to reach that egg, right? That's the goal of it, if your swimmer is good enough, right? <laughs> but um, with a vasectomy, you just cut out all those swimmers, right? So, and then another thing with the vasectomy, I was worried about before I got one, talking to men who had got it before me, older gentlemen. I was 33 when I got it, right? So I'm talking to cats that's in their 40s, in their 50s, high 30s that already had it, right? And I was worried, like, when I get ready to bust, it's just steam going to come out. <laughs> like, I was worried it was just going to be some steam. And <laughs> I was worried about that. And they was like, no, nah, you know, like, uh, when you have a vasectomy, and only thing that happens is this, this fluid, the fluid um, that can make a baby, the swimmers, the sperm, right, takes up 2% of the actual um, ejaculation. So you still got 98%. 97% of your seminal fluid that's still coming. So your lungs will still be able to bust, right? <laughs> so that's the whole thing. So I was worried like, man, what's going to come out if they snip me like that, right? So fluid is still the same, still busting the same, still busting heavy loads. But one of the pros of the vasectomy is the peace of mind. <sighs> like the peace of mind that comes from the fact that, man, this sexual act right here will not make a baby. It's a, it's a, it's major, guys. It's, it's a major feeling. So I want to give y'all a crazy story on that tip. This is a kind of it, right? Dirtbag man, like I am, right? I meet a young lady back in the day, still, well before I got married, right? But I had the vasectomy, right? So I'm messing with this young lady and whatnot. And we doing our thing on the side, right? She got a guy, she got her whole situation. Of course, Willie Lee be having situations, right? At the time. So, young lady, like, man, you know what? I don't want any children. Like, I never want to have children. She was maybe about 32 or so. She was like, she didn't want to have any children. And I'm like, bet. You know what I'm saying? We do our thing. We just busting. I'm acting a fool. I'm not saying anything. Everything's good to go. She don't want to have any children. So, um, long story short, we get to talking on the phone one day, and she tells me, like, yeah, I'm happy um, dealing with you like this, you know what I'm saying? This is good, this is convenient. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I feel like I fit into your life well. You say you don't want to have children. You're a career woman. You're a lawyer. You got your stuff on straight. You never want to have children. So I guess I can just let you know, like, hey, um, while we're doing this on a regular basis, since we are, I had a vasectomy. So... This is a good thing for you. Since you don't want to have... Hello? Hello? She hung up and blocked me on everything. 
Yo, she hung up and blocked me on everything when I told her I had a vasectomy. Because even though she was saying she did not want to have children, the truth is she was trying to get that accident, baby. She wanted to pop up pregnant, right? Oops. She wanted one of them oops babies, trap baby, what I call them. And I didn't give her the, um, the luxury of being able to have that. She see the man, 6'2", gainfully employed, intelligent, nice athletic build. And she was like, oh, yeah, I need those jeans off you. So <laughs> long story short, the vasectomy hurt me because the young lady, even though we were having casual intercourse like that, she uh, wanted to eventually pop up pregnant. And I didn't give her that opportunity. So that was one of the cons for her with the vasectomy. But for yourself, for your boy, hey, it worked out well because I wasn't trying to pop no baby in her anyway, right? So, back into it, right? So, um, as I'm getting ready to get the procedure, I talked to fellas. They told me about it. Like, no, nah, you know, you're still going to be able to bust your heavy load. Everything will still be working fine. It's not a, um, a major procedure. They don't have to put you to sleep to do it. So, I go see my urologist. Dude, do the checks on me. He say, you sure you don't want to have any kids? Have you talked it over with your spouse? And I'm like, huh. Hmm. I do got a lady I'm dealing with that I had two babies with, right? So, let me ask her, do she want another child? And I had to get from her, her validation that she's sure she did not want another child, right? She was sure. So, since you're sure you're not having any more children, I want to get a vasectomy. And I'm going ahead and pay this 400 bucks, and I'm going to get this done, and it's going to be permanent. I'm not getting it reversed. Are you sure you don't want any more children? And we came to the conclusion that she was good. She didn't want to have any more children. And rather than her getting her tubes tied, I don't want to have any more children. So I'll just get this vasectomy. That's what I want to do anyway. I don't want to have no children by anybody. I don't want nobody popping up pregnant, right? So long story short, I go to the urologist. Um, I sign on my paperwork, right? I come in, had a procedure, and it was at the time, I think Floyd Mayweather was getting ready to fight um, Canelo Alvarez back in the day. Like I said, this was, this was 10 years ago, so that would be 2013, right? So I have, um, I, I sit down, pull my pants down, do um, numb my nuts, you know what I'm saying? Just numbed it. Me and him sitting talking about the fight, me and the doctor, right? We talked about the fight the whole time. He numb. He down there working. I'm out there spread out like this. <laughs> yeah, dude. I think Mayweather's gonna knock him out. You know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah. Dude down there doing his work down there, right? <laughs> so basically, he um, numbed the area. Then he snipped like the um, I guess it's like the the testy, the 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 fluid um, tubes basically. So he snipped those tubes and then burnt the ends, right? And then when he burned the ends, he then clamped the ends so that they could never reconnect. Right? So, um, just to get on that, if you get a reversal, what they do is those clipped and burned ends, they cut them on both sides, and then they put them back together, and then they sew with some little microscopic threads all around them to get those to connect again. And over time, that fluid can now go through and get to, you know what I'm saying, to bust some loads. So, that's the, the whole goal of the reversal. But when you get it done, they snip it, boom. They clip the side, they burn it, they turn it over, and then they, they pinch it, right? So they burn this side, they clamp, it, they clamp it over, and then they clip it. Boom. It's done. So with that whole process, it took me maybe 30 minutes to get the vasectomy, right? And I was done. He was like, listen, man, um, try to hold off on sex for like uh, four to six weeks. You know what I'm saying? Put some ice down there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if your shit get to feeling bad, here goes some painkillers for you. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, um, just keep some ice down in your drawers, bro, for a little while, and you're good to go. You can go back to work. I did it. Matter of fact, I got my vasectomy done on my lunch break. I work in healthcare. I work at a hospital. So I went to my doctor in the hospital, took my lunch break, got this vasectomy, came back and finished my shift. It was that minimally invasive, right? Now, the big thing what it is, and this is why, again, I caution young men to really hold off on such a procedure, especially if you don't have any kids, is because I can literally see, like, hey, it's genetic annihilation if you tell men and encourage men to just have vasectomies willy-nilly, right? So I never encourage that. I say, man, be out here, be fruitful, and multiply on this earth. 
Me, I just happened to have made four children already, right? So I was ready for it. But if you're a young man, you only got one kid or so, and you not with the mother, and you want to meet somebody, and you want to get married and have children with your spouse of the future, I say hold off on such a procedure. Now, again, I also talk to men that um, shit got seven, eight kids, 10, 12 kids. And they'd be like, man, I can't get that shit. Shoot, what if I get married one day? <laughs> man, fellas be bugging me out. But yeah, yeah, if you got all uh, 12 kids and you still want to be able to um, shoot the club up um, and have children in the future with your potential wife at some point, hey, man, hats off to you. You a, you a better one, you know what I'm saying? But as for me, kids are too expensive to just be having willy-nilly. And I don't want kids all around the place that I just cannot um, take care of readily, right? Getting somebody pregnant on the side, showing a lack of dick discipline, things like such is not really wise. So I always say, if you're going to get a vasectomy, don't do it for the purposes of birth control, necessarily, right? You're doing it for the purposes of you want to ensure that you have the resources to take care of the children that you already got. You don't want to go into it thinking like, hey, I'm going to get a reversal at some point because the reversal is not 100%. You need to go into it and only get it if you feel like you are truly done having children, right? And in the first five years, if you change your mind, then, of course, you can um, always, you know what I'm saying, do your thing. If By the way, if anybody want to get brought up live, let me know. You can come on camera if you have any questions. Or you can ask questions in the comment and I'll cover it. I don't know how long I'm going to do this video, but we just talk about the pros and cons of having a vasectomy. I had a vasectomy 10 years ago. My youngest kid is 10. So right now I'm 43 years old. I look at it like a vas vasectomy was a good investment for me in my early 30s because it allowed me to make it to this point without having to um, shit, buy new diapers, shit, <laughs> buy new cribs, um, create more space in the home for a baby, um, provide a nursery, things like such. Like mm -hmm. At this point in my life, I can just raise these children my youngest at 10 right now, when I'm 43, he will be uh, 18, I'll be 51. I can empty nest at 51 at this point. If I was still out here um, shooting heavy loads like that, without a vasectomy, I can really be in a position where I um, can still be making babies right now. So 43 years old, if I made a baby right now, that kid wouldn't be grown, 18. <laughs> That kid would be 18 when I'm 61. Like, as I'm going into retirement age, I have to then deal with a teenager. Ugh. I would die, right? <laughs> I'm ready for grandpa years in my 50s and 60s. I'm not trying to be a, um, a new dad putting kids in kindergarten, going to elementary school recitals in my 50s and 60s. So um, having a vasectomy put me in a position where I don't have to worry about getting somebody pregnant and having children going forward. And again, another alternative is your lady getting tubes tied. You know what I'm saying? It's up to y'all to work that out if y'all don't want to have kids in the future. But even with your lady getting her tubes tied, women tend to um, make children up to the age of 40. You know what I'm saying? Before it is really um, deemed, um, I, I guess, um, hazardous for her health or dangerous or highly probable that the kid would be born with some defects. So once a woman gets to, in her 40s, start going through the menopause stages, she has to, she doesn't have to worry about having children. But if she had her tube tied and you still out here and you didn't have the vasectomy, right? So if your woman gets to the point of menopause and she's not having children, things like such anymore, she cannot produce a child anymore, you still can produce a child. Like this man out here having babies in the eighties. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you get your young tender, you got enough money. I know dudes that was making babies in their sixties for sure. So you know, like I said, if you don't want to be in a position where you still have to, you know, um, take care of young children or real young children, I say the vasectomy is always great. All right, let's give y'all some more, some cons of this, right? So some of the cons of having a vasectomy is you get regret. Down the line, you might think like, damn, like, I would love to be a dad now. Nah. And <laughs> say you went like me, I've been 10 years now. Nah. If I decided right now, like, hey, let me pop a baby in somebody, um, yeah, it's, it's highly unlikely, even if I wanted to, right? So if I'm at the point now, say me and my wife divorced, I meet me a young 25-year-old tender, 
She has no children. Me and her hit it off. We got good chemistry. And she really wants to be a mother someday, right? And for her to be with me, I, I would be denying her the ability to be a mother. Mm. So my end, first of all, if I got divorced, I wouldn't be out here trying to, you know, um, consider any woman at tw in her 20s as a long-term interest because she got her whole life ahead of her. She need to be out here finding somebody that she can rear a family with. If I deal with anybody in such an age group, I would let them know, like, hey, you know, this can't be long-term. I can be nothing more than a good time. We can travel. We can see the world. Hey, your boy got his shit together. But other than that, like, you should not consider me as a long-term option for marriage, family, <laughs> or a child rear. I am not the one for that, but I'm a good time. That's all I can give her, right? If I was divorced and trying to find a new wife at some point, I would have to, um, on my end, this is how I look at it. I would um, deal with women in their 40s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, not 30s. I think the 30s age is the woman that is trying to hit that buzzer beater. Like, she's trying to find a husband and start a family before she her eggs are no longer of good use for her. Like, biologically, this works on her mind. So she's more so trying to hit that buzzer beater, find Mr. Right, settle down, and start a family. I don't even mess with women in their 30s. I look at that as, hey, hey, <laughs> that's a danger zone for me. So a woman in her 40s, if I was trying to, again, if this is if I was divorced and trying to find a woman to marry again, a second marriage, I would pick a woman in her 40s who has already raised a family or has got to the position that um, she is not interested in um, having children or she's no longer capable of having children. So she more so just wants to build a life with one man. That's a woman I can work with. A woman in her 20s, again, that is the kind of having a vasectomy. Is if you're dealing with a woman in her 20s and she doesn't have children and she wants to have children at some point, it would be unfair of you to um, put her in a position where she could not have kids simply because it is the best choice for you. She needs to find a, a man that she could work with. Another kind of that would be lying. Like, if you meet a young lady and you really like her, and anybody that want to come on, just hit the button, I'll bring you up. If you got a question, leave it in the comment section. I got you as well. But dealing with a young woman in her 20s, and you really, really like her, you want her, you want her bad, but you know she wants a relationship and children, the worst thing you can do is lie to her and promise her those kind of dreams. Like, sell her the dream that you're going to have kids with her. That's dirt baggage. Now, of course, I'm a dirtbag, but I look at his levels of dirtbag. I would never go to the level where I would lie to a woman and tell her, yeah, we can make a family. Knowing damn well, Will done been 10 years with a vasectomy and would never give nobody no baby. Like, that's not fair to her. So give her the opportunity to make an informed decision on if she wants to deal with a man such as you. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the cons of it. One of the pros of having a vasectomy is, like I said, um, you are in a position where you know when you're having sex that you're not making a child with it, right? Of course, you still should protect yourself or make sure both you and your partner are getting tested so you can be going raw like that without those worries, right, of those kind of issues. But at the same time, being able to not, like, free a burden, I think it's priceless. Like, it's the best thing about uh, having a vasectomy in me. Is uh, I said the other day, like, I know a lot of dudes have to work on their pull-out game, right? So they got to make sure they pull out on time. With me, like, when, after, <laughs> I work on um, how many time, how many strokes I can get in after I finish, right? After I ejaculate, how many pumps can I keep going? Like, that's what I do when I get done. I ain't have to worry about pulling out in so long. I ain't have to worry about pulling out in a decade, y'all. That's crazy to me. That's one of the pros of... Uh, having a vasectomy it's like you get the peace of mind of knowing like damn there is no child being made out of this union so you might have a lady you and your lady got three kids right so if you and your lady got three kids and your lady try to get her body back together right like damn these three kids take a toll out of her she went from a size four to a size 14 right so if your lady you got three kids with your lady and she goes from a size four to a size 14 She's trying to work herself back down to that size four, right? She's not interested in having any more kids. She is not trying to pop up pregnant again 
and go from a 14 to an 18 to a 20. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so in her mind, with you having a vasectomy, that gives her the peace of mind of knowing like, hey, ain't no baby coming out of this. She ain't got to worry about the wear and tear that a baby will put on her body to carry for nine more months, right? So this gives you peace of mind of knowing that when you, when you bust inside of her, she's not having a baby, and it gives her the peace of mind to know that, hey, this man has left that deposit, but he's shooting blanks. <laughs> we good here. There is no baby coming from this union. I think it's a beautiful thing. So again, the peace of mind that comes from having a vasectomy is um is is a great feeling, right? Also, I would say if we're going over pros of having a vasectomy, one of the biggest pros is quality of life. So after you've already had children. Again, we're talking about people who have had children, right? If you've had children already and you don't want any more children, you just have the responsibility of rearing the children that you already have. You know how much it costs to rear the children that you already have, right? But the peace of mind that comes from the fact that I'm not going to make new babies. The formula is not getting any cheaper, guys. Um, a hundred pack of diapers is not getting any cheaper. Buying baby clothes is not getting any cheaper. And in fact, the world we living in, and this is another pro, the world we living in now, creating children in this entitled LGBTQ society that we have right now, shout out to them, by the way, it's a different world we living in raising children, right? So I look at all these kind of aspects and say, like, hey, at this point in my life, we in the 2020s, I'm 43 years old. I would rather be in a position where I have the assurity of knowing that I'm not making any more babies. And it has worked out well. I was worried. Another thing that worried me before I got the vasectomy was that uh, it would lower my testosterone levels. Like, if you're not getting any semen coming through, man, like, you might lower your, your um, testosterone levels. So, you know, even if you're watching videos on semen retention, it teaches you not to ejaculate. And for the longer you go without ejaculating, the more powerful you get and stuff like that, right? So I was like, damn, like, what if I got a vasectomy and that disrupts my, um, my semen to the level that I'm not producing enough testosterone in my testes or something, right? So I was worried about that. So um, through the years, again, this has been 10 years now, just doing the checks. And as men get older, like, we lose testosterone anyway. But when I go and get my shit checked on a regular basis, like on a once a year annual, my testosterone levels still be through the roof. Uh, I don't know if that's actually a, a byproduct of having it stored like it is, but like, yeah, I don't lose no muscle mass. I don't have a lot of body fat on my body, right? I'm still pretty strong, still pretty lean. Hey, and I still got an overactive sex drive. You know what I'm saying? Like still wake up with that morning wood, Hey, I'm sorry, I have seen no setbacks in that regard, in that regard with having a vasectomy, other than the fact that, you know, there's a lot of women who will not deal with you because there is no potential to have a child. Uh, so, we always talk about, like, um, with casual sex. So, we got to go here, right? With casual sex, people don't understand that... Um, both people can have a great understanding. I am not trying to have a baby with you, young lady. Fine, I'm not trying to have, I'm not trying to carry a baby for you, young man, right? Give me a second. But even in such situations, in casual sex, a baby can happen. And even though you don't um, consider somebody mother material, she can get pregnant, and now thus she's a mother of your child. And even though a woman might deal with a dude on a one-nighter, like he's fun for the night, <laughs> he could potentially be the father of her child. Uh. So, with the vasectomy, it puts women in a position, when you tell them you got a vasectomy, it puts them in a position of knowing concretely, okay, this man will not give me a baby. A lot of women do not like that. They want to be in a position where they can say, I don't want a baby, he doesn't want a baby, but oops, a baby happened. Don't give him that. So I like to tell the truth, like, hey, I had a vasectomy, you're not, I can't give you a baby. And like I said, when the woman that had blocked me that one time, 
<laughs> after I told her. Like, we had got busy like 20, 30 times before that. Once I told her that, she hung up, blocked me, and was done with me. Even though she said she did not want a baby, in her heart, she was hoping to get that trap baby. She wanted the boy's jeans. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> make sure um, you understand that there, there are women who will not deal with you because you have had a vasectomy. And this is in ill regard to how many children a woman may have. So, you might meet a woman with five kids. <laughs> and you just you just want to have fun for the night with her, right? You ain't trying to meet the kids. You ain't trying to um, pop no baby in her. You ain't considering her as wife material, mother material, anything like that, right? You just try to have fun with her. That woman with five kids, if you told her you had a vasectomy, there is a chance she might be like, uh-uh, I'm good then. Because she might want that safe kid with you. We talked about the trap baby earlier, right? <laughs> And it's another thing, um, when you when you are dealing with women um, who are saying that they do not wish to have children, a lot of women say they do not wish to have children, but they only do not wish to have children now, right? So say you got a woman that's 28, and she said, I never want to have children, right? I never want to have children. So you are perfect with your vasectomy, right? That woman start going to baby showers and... Seeing, um, you know, babies being born and helping her sisters nurse kids and things like such. And before you know it, she might find herself at 37 being with you for nine years with a vasectomy, right? She go from 28 to 37 and she start getting that itch like, damn, shoot, I ain't getting no younger. I'm going to be 40 around the corner. I want to have at least one. Now y'all breaking up because you can't give her no baby. This is something that goes with it, right? Now, again, on my end, this is great. <laughs> it's not bro it's not great to get broken up with because you can't give a woman a baby when she says she did not want to have one, right? But it is great to um, understand that you you don't have to give her a baby, right? Like, you're in a position where you don't want to give her a baby. You don't want to have any more children. That's why you got the vasectomy, right? So it puts you in a position where you don't have to, you can stand on your word like, hey, I said I didn't want to have any more children. I'm not having any more children. Clearly, I'm not having any more children. I've been shooting blanks in you for nine years, girl. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a good peace of mind. It's a good um, strategy for a man to um, start working on building and improving himself on a physical, spiritual, mental, emotional, and financial level without having to worry about a young lady getting pregnant. Let me see. All right, all right. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the vasectomy, again, going over the pros and cons of it, I look at it more so like the pros of having a vasectomy is knowing um, full-heartedly that you're not in a position to produce a child when you're engaging in sex, whether it's on a casual level or inside a relationship or inside a marriage. Always talk these things over with your partner. Make sure your uh, your lady understands that you are not interested in having any children in the future. Are you sure you do not wish to have children with me in the future? If you or her are on the same concert and this is a woman that you're going to be with for life, this works out well. If you go from a relationship or a marriage and get divorced and you meet a young lady and y'all trying to consummate y'all relationship or y'all marriage with a child... Hey, that's something that you have to consider before you got the vasectomy. Like I said, you don't want to go into a vasectomy thinking like, oh, I can get it reversed down the line. You want to go into it saying, I do not wish to have children again in the future. And again, like my man in my position with four kids, um, youngest is 10, had the vasectomy 10 years ago. I'm not trying to be in my 50s after rearing these four kids, still popping out baby after baby after baby. I'm done. I was fruitful and I multiplied. For the young man out there who has not been fruitful and multiplied, you're a young man, you don't want to have kids right now, but you don't want to get a, re a vasectomy because you haven't had kids yet. I say to you, just use your latex, bro. Don't <laughs> depend on that uh, pull-out method. You need something a little more powerful than that. All right, so I say put that latex on. Um, also, do not um, engage in sex with young ladies 
that you are um, that you could not see being the mother of your child. Also, do not um, engage in sexual activities with young ladies um, unprotected that you could not see being a wife. Mm. So even if you're engaging in casual sex, you need to be wrapping it up every time. Every time. If you do not wish to have that oops baby or that trap baby. Do not um, depend on a young lady telling you she's on the pill. Right? That's another pro. Hey, if you're dealing with a young lady and she's saying, like, hey, I'm on the pill. <laughs> I got the shot. I got this patch I wear on my arm. I got this little thing inserted in me that I can't have babies with. You could tell her, get rid of all that shit while you with me. Because I had a vasectomy. You don't need no birth control. I am the birth control. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, vasectomy, for me, for a man like myself, again, I am not encouraging a vasectomy if you um, are not in a position where you are done having children. But if you are done having children, it's a pretty awesome, awesome feeling to have, knowing that when every time you bust, you are not making new children. So that wraps it up for today. I just want to give y'all a brief word. If you have any questions, we can go at it in the comment section. And if I need to do another video down the line, I'll jump on here again. Y'all know I don't mind going live, doing my team. So, yeah, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. hope this got some good information. Share it with somebody that you um, know that maybe is thinking about having a vasectomy. You know what I'm saying? Share it with somebody that has questions about a vasectomy. Again, the procedure itself takes about 30 minutes. Costs a little under probably five, six hundred bucks. Um, they clip you, they, they cut you, they clip you, they snip you, they burn the ends. And that takes 30 minutes, you are done. You will not be able to produce children going forward. You need to make sure that this is something that you and your spouse are comfortable with, right? And then you have the peace of mind of knowing like every time you have sex, every time you engage in intercourse, every time you ejaculate, you are not in a position where you will make kids in the future. And this can be very good for a man when he's trying to build up his life. Like once you have a vasectomy, you don't have to worry about um, being in a position where you have an unexpected pregnancy. Like even in a marriage, the pregnancies come unexpectedly. Unless y'all look at the ovulation charts and trying to plan for a baby, babies usually come in an unexpected manner, whether they be from casual sex or a relationship or marriage. So my best advice on that aspect, if you have a vasectomy, or if you're, going, you're thinking about getting a vasectomy, is to make sure that you understand that you will not be having children in the future. For my men out here that got like eight, nine kids, five, six kids, or four kids like myself, and you're questioning like, damn, like, I still ain't got no lady though. What if I get with a lady and she wants to have children? Like, hey, that's a decision that you need to make if you want to have more children. Because anybody that you get with and you want to have more children with, you need to be able to be in a position to produce children. If you, in a, if you know in your heart that you do not wish to have more children because you got eight, nine kids, because you got 13 kids, because you got four kids, because you got two and don't want any more, you need to deal with women for um, the, the, that you're potentially courting for long term that understand that you will not be having more children. Maybe you're dealing with women who have had children already, right? Maybe you're dealing with women um, that you doubling back. You circle, you spent the block and had um, another relationship with one of your exes that you have children with. Whatever the situation is, if you're going forward as a man who does not wish to have children going forward and have a vasectomy, you need to deal with women who are comfortable with the fact that you cannot pop a baby in her, right? Women who are comfortable with the fact that you will not be in a position to get her pregnant going forward. There are a lot of women out here who are trying to get their body back in shape. A lot of women out here in their 40s. A lot of women even in their 30s. I'd be picking on 30s women because they'd be trying to hit that buzzer beater. But there are a lot of women in their 30s that don't have enough children and who do not wish to have any more children, right? So when you're dealing with women after you've had a vasectomy, you need to be honest with the fact that I'm dealing with a woman who could potentially want children. She needs to either see me as a good time, as a casual thing, we're kicking it with each other for a little while. Or she has to understand that I will not be in a position to pop a baby in her. So every time you bust that load at her, she needs to understand that this load is kind of shooting blanks. I shot the club up, but I'm like, yo, 70 Sam, I'm just shooting blanks out here, right? So 
that's it for today. Hope this information was helpful. I know I was a bit all over the place, but I'll try to give you as much as I could while I'm thinking. This is just a freestyle. So, hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.